Today I'm hosting a show from my house and getting my family to help me host the show too. Speaking of, it's meant to be my brother's turn, but I have no idea where he's got to. So I've been watching this thing go for a few cycles now. It's so cool, man. When things like the washing machine spin, there are two forces at play, centripetal force and centrifugal force. Though the second is kind of a fake force. Anyway, centripetal force is the force that keeps things going around in a circle whereas centrifugal force is the force that makes the clothes fly out to the sides and the water fly out of them too. It's the same force you feel when you're on your skateboard you go around a corner and you feel your body go to the other side. Yeah. In fact, there are so many things in the world that rely on circular motion. Hello? Excuse me, this is Dr. Jeffrey Wabangong of the International Drainage Commission. It's an emergency! Oh no, an emergency? I'm afraid so. I'm gonna need you to go and check which direction your toilet flush is in. Wait, why? Well, up here in the northern hemisphere of the Earth, my toilets and sinks drain anti-clockwise, and I believe all yours down in the southern hemisphere will drain clockwise because of the Coriolis effect. I don't need to check my drains to tell you that that's just a myth. What? But I heard it on a very reliable TV sitcom and that's how it happens. What about the Coriolis effect then? Well... The Coriolis effect refers to the Coriolis force, which results from the clockwise rotation of the Earth. At the equator, the land is moving faster than land at the poles. Wait, what? The Earth isn't spinning all at the same time? Well... Yeah, but also kind of not. See, the Earth spins at one speed, but here at the equator, the land has further to travel, so a specific point on the equator of the Earth moves at approximately 1,675 kilometres per hour. But down here at the South Pole, it only has to move a small distance, so this point on Earth moves far slower and gets all the way down to zero right down at the poles. But when something starts moving at the equator down towards the South Pole, it keeps the momentum that it has from up there, so it travels faster as it moves towards the South Pole. So it kind of looks like it's curving. See? Whatever images you're showing, no. I'm on the phone, I can't see. That's why hurricanes or cyclones in the Northern Hemisphere spin in an anti-clockwise direction, while here in the Southern Hemisphere they spin in a clockwise direction. As the wind rushes into that low-pressure system, the wind gusts spin to form the storm system. So, there it is. The Coriolis effect forces things to spin in certain directions, just like our toilets. Well, the Coriolis effect works with gusts of wind because there's so much of it, but the force is so small that it hardly has an effect on something as small as a sink of water or a toilet. Drains can flow in either direction in both hemispheres of the Earth and it has nothing to do with the Coriolis effect. It all has to do with the specific design of the bowl or the sink. The curve of the bowl, the size of the drainage hole, and even the direction of where the water is coming from all have a part to play in how the water drains out. So there you go, emergency averted. Yes, I see. Well, the International Drainage Commission will be sending you a bill for our time. Thank you very much. What? How much is this gonna... $900 dues? Crikey! 